We're going to look at the uh, rope man uh, in its primary function, which is for ascending a rope. So we're going to use uh, rope man one. Uh, it's quite similar. The, the first two rope men, the, the one and the two, are quite similar in how you put them on. So we'll just work with the one. And I tend to do it in two stages. The first one is I just get it onto the rope so that it's squeezed between the cheeks of the device. Okay. So now we've got the device sitting on the rope, we need to get the carabiner in. Now you can buy from Wild Country carabiners that are optimum for working with this. Um, it has a key lock, so the nose is easy to get through. So we just push the nose through and then slide the carabiner in. And then test that you've got the, the device the right way up. So I always do this first. So I t slide it up, grip, pull the tail, slide it down. So we know that we're not going to be sliding down the rope, we're going to be going up here. So, we're going to look now at how to actually climb the rope, which is the primary function. Um, so, we're going to need two devices. So, let's have a look for another one. There we go. And the nice thing is that um, you can actually get them in different colours. So, it's quite easy to identify. Not essential, but it doesn't do any harm. So, we're going to put the other one on. Same as before. We open out the gadget. Slide the rope on. Stage one get a screw gate carabiner, and this time I'm going to use one not standard one, just a carabiner I happen to have on my harness. Um, as luck would have it, it's got a, a key lock again, but we can just open things out, slide that in, and there we go. So we've now got two rope men fixed to the rope, and now I'm going to attach myself to them. I've got a long sling. I like to use a full 120 sling, because then you can adjust it to fit uh, your own size. Um, and, and that way you don't have to get everything exact first go. So we can just put that on. And then we can tie a knot in this just to shorten it. And then I'm going to get a sling. I like to use a fairly short sling to attach this to my harness. So I'm just going to use uh, an ordinary quick draw. And we can lock split that into the harness Lark's foot, just thread through like this. We could also, if some people are not comfortable doing that on their absole loop and they prefer to do it on the harness, well, that's up to you. You can thread it through both bits of the harness. Right, so that is now Lark's footed to my harness and we can start connecting things up. I like to take the slack out of the rope um, by stepping into the foot loop and tensioning it up a little bit. And this will give me a better indication of where I want this device. So I'll just bring this down a little bit. And then we're going to fix it in like that. There we go, and then slide that up. Now before I leave the ground, I actually like to have a backup. So I would tend to use a sling to attach myself my harness into the leg loop as well as a backup. So there we go. So that's the system, and by shuffling between the two, I can take all the stretch out of the rope before I trust myself to it. So there we go, I take a little bit more slack out system, and I'm ready to leave the ground. So now I just sit back. Slight swing, but you see that I don't disappear downwards because there's no stretch left. And now I'm going to climb the rope. And the trick here is to keep pushing downwards, not outwards, but downwards. So I'm just going to step up, straightening this leg, and slide this as I go. And then I sit back again. Slide the leg loop up. Straighten my leg. I'm going to pull myself up and then just grab the carabiner and slide this up and then sit back. And I'm being careful to push downwards with my foot, not, I don't want to push outwards, it doesn't work, it's not effective, but I push downwards and step up. Ready, one, two, three, up, and then sit back. It's important also to be able to descend. Um, you never want to climb up a rope without the ability to go down. It's like having brakes, you need to be able to stop. All right, so descend, the trick is not to be greedy. I'm just going to step down a little bit at a time. All right, so first I'm going to slide the leg loop down, but not so much I can't still st stand upright. 
straighten my leg and pull the tail and then just slide down leaving a gap of a few inches between them. There we go and repeat. Leg loop down but legs still bent about there and then grab the tail pull that up and slide down. Again, see I'm leaving a gap between the two three or four inches just a step at a time, taking, taking it comfortably, not getting out of breath, and we're down. So once we reach the ground, we need to step out of the system. Um, and the best way to do this is to keep the leg loop on and take the waist one off first. So I'm going to just pump the rope again so that it is tensioned, and slide this down, right down low, keeping the tension and then I can come off of this device. So there we go, um, undo that and then take my foot out afterwards. Thank you.